I've been a vegan for almost three years. And before that, I was a vegetarian for about seven years. Before that, I was eating typical Norwegian food, which is bread, pasta, rice, cereal, different kinds of meat, and also candy, soda, alcohol. Now, I haven't been drinking alcohol for a couple of years now, but I've been feeling weaker and weaker on the vegan diet and I've lost a lot of weight almost 10 kilos and I've been trying to work out but I'm not getting any results and the last year I slowly but surely felt like I was gonna die literally I woke up with the taste of blood in my mouth and I felt like my body was eating itself and no matter how much I ate, I just, I was never satisfied. And subconsciously, I started looking for something else. And I, I went into to videos I found and information I found online. And I found something called the ketogenic diet. Now, the ketogenic diet works in a different way in the body than the usual food we're taught to eat. The food that the Norwegian government recommends us is full of carbohydrates and the meat they want us to eat is very lean. There is another process in the body where instead of the carbohydrates being converted into glucose, we can live on fat, especially then saturated fat, and convert that into ketones, which is what the ketogenic diet is about. So I've been trying to, as an experiment, to eat uh, according to the ketogenic diet, which is meats and fat and as little carbohydrates as possible, less than 50 grams per day. And it's actually quite easy. I've been eating about 10 to 20 grams per day and um, it's going great. Every day I have more energy and I concentrate a lot better. There's no blood sugar spikes. My mood is more stable. And uh, I'm starting to think that this is the way that we are supposed to eat. Now, when I know there's a depopulation agenda going on, then it never made sense to me that all of the science was right about nutrition. And with the ketogenic diet, then... Everything just makes sense. Everything that they say is wrong. So why not try the opposite? There are a lot of warnings, but I'm willing to, to in the name of science, give it a try. So you can measure the amount of ketones in your body by buying something called keto sticks. I measured mine and the result was as expected it was medium high and in the beginning that's an indication that your body is producing more ketones than it can use and once your body adapts to the ketogenic diets then the body will be more efficient at creating and utilizing ketones the ketones are created in the liver and is a perfect replacement for glucose and the higher you are on the scale the more ketone bodies you have in your urine these are not 100% accurate all the time. So if you measure to know exactly, you should probably do it a couple times during the day. Just a funny thing in the 
instruction manuals. Like basically, you just pee in a in a cup, and then you you put the the stick in the pee for like one second. You pull it out, and then within fifteen seconds, you get a color, and you compare it to the one on the bottle. The darker, the more ketones you have. And when you read the the instructions from this company called Bayer, which is one of the bad people that create pesticides and chemicals around medicine, bad medicines. They actually say that if you're near the darkest range, you are in trouble and you need to go to see the doctor uh, to avoid acidosis and that you can induce a coma if you don't go to see the doctor. So ketosis is something they, they really wanna want to stop us from trying. So try it out. When these people say it's bad for you, then it must be good. So this is a typical ketogenic meal with grass-fed beef, cauliflower, cabbage, mozzarella cheese, sour cream, some French camembert cheese, and some lingonberry, and lots of melted butter on top. The point is just to eat as much fat as you, as you can, preferably saturated fat, which is the opposite of what they're telling you is healthy. All right, wish me luck. Oh yeah, and drink water. Just pure, clean water from the well. Don't drink government water. Don't drink from plastic. Try to avoid that too. Straight from the ground or rainwater is the best. And this is my ketogenic dessert with Greek yogurt and 25% cream, some raspberries and blueberries. It's really, really good. And this has some carbs in it, but I haven't been eating any carbs today, so I'm well below 50 grams. It's a really easy diet to transition to. It's a lot less headache than, than the vegan diet.